Hey everyone, welcome back. This video is in continuation with the GitHub repository management playlist I have been running. If you are new to this channel, I am Kailo Koparkar. I make content around open source, DevRel and cloud native ecosystem. So let's get started. In this video, we are going to see about project boards. Uh, so this is a really great feature that github provides and this is not really related to the technical part of uh, what you use like uh, issues pull requests which are concerned with your code documentation something like that uh, but this is more uh, gets into more uh, about managing your project and timelines of your project and why is it necessary for you to implement this again as i said it really creates an impression that apart from just coding you know how to manage your project as well and you know how to plan your project and execute it uh, according to a plan and that is really a skill a software engineer should have and also is in uh, SDLC software development life cycle as you have studied <laughs> during your course I suppose so uh, let's get started uh, and see uh, how you can use project boards to the best uh, on your projects. So we are on our project again and if we go to the project boards, uh, the, this is the uh, new project board that uh, has been uh, added uh, a while back on GitHub that in this project board it it, 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 it is similar to uh, uh, asana this project board is like an intuitive and like a uh, next version of project boards which we usually see and the new tools which had so i have not implemented uh, it in this project but i will show you uh, example of uh, that project board soon but for uh, basics and getting started uh, this this is the project board that is the project board classic and uh, i have created like two project board like future planning and milestones which wherever i update uh, a planning and you can actually create a new project a classic project from here so uh, if you go to project uh, for now i have like three so to do uh pro in progress and done and uh, actually as it says it's like your to-do list as you see so uh, whatever you are doing uh, you want to do to do is there and then you shift it to in progress and then when done it goes there but the different thing is that you can automate this thing so if you automate this thing this is really good thing so you don't have to keep on managing your project boards but project boards will keep on uh, arranging themselves and kind of create a really good impression that the workflow is automated so you create an issue create a pull request review a pull request close a issue merge a pr or uh, re uh, reject a pr uh, and it uh, automatically gets updated on your project board and you don't have to do a lot of that so you can just go here create new uh, project board and when you go down in the project you can actually create see automated kanban uh, then uh, automated kanban reviews bug, bug trying you can actually go ahead and try this so if you do automated kanban and i will just say demo uh, this project board is for demo purpose also wherever you see a description box please do add description uh, don't leave it empty it's again it's optional but good practice to always put descriptions wherever you see the box okay so now the automated kanban is being created and it shows me see there is a like a of uh, like issue already created i i don't think you can see it but uh, it's down here so it's down here here is the issue and uh, if i go back i can just close this and you can see okay see there is the issue and i can include it i'll just uh, delete these cards actually uh, these cards are really great way for you to like understand quick shortcuts and then add new column and understand how this project board is working i already know it so i will delete this uh delete this then what are cards delete note delete uh, and then automation you can automatically move so that's what we are going to do and uh, this is done so now what we can do is go to manage and for preset so what you how to automate it so if you go to this and you can go move issues here when 
there is newly added so whenever there will be a new issue uh, created it will get added to the to do right and then uh, you can actually do reopen if the issue gets reopened i won't do it reopened here uh, then uh, move pull request here when uh, newly added so column uh, uh, rule will be removed from in progress so okay so see uh, the newly added pull request gets added to in progress column okay so uh, do you want to do that yes we can do that so whenever new pull request will be created it will be moved in to do list so after that let's update automation updating then let's go to in progress and when the issue is reopened it will go to in progress which is okay and good uh, that it gets clear faster and if you don't want that just remove uh, the reopened one then pull request uh, get is there when it is reopened okay uh, and then approved by reviewer if it's approved by reviewer also add there uh, pending approval by reviewer okay if the it is pending re, uh, uh, approval from reviewer add it there so that is good uh, we can update the automation and it's done and for done it should be pretty easy i will just remove this okay so for done we can go here and if it is closed merged or closed with unmerged commits then uh, it will be added to done we can update the automation and just let's create a new issue uh, quickly uh, with other and uh, let's go with demo video uh, see the uh, for issue template uh, uh, you have already seen about issue template if you are not seen the issue template video please do check uh, the entire playlist it's small small videos and it will really help you uh, build your project so the link will be in description for playlist and the video so this is mandatory so i will have to fill uh, demo something like that additional information not necessary uh, and then uh, the labels i can put uh, the label i created uh, during uh, this playlist so i can add that uh, i will assign it to myself uh, you cannot actually assign to yourself the issues because i have this is my repository so i can do pretty much everything here and for projects i i will not add a project here but actually you can just click the project uh, here uh, and you can uh, add it there uh, this is my repository so i can do that you can actually not uh, do this and milestone we will see in a while and then just submit the new issue and let's see if it gets uh, reflected on project boards uh cool let's go ahead and see if it gets on the project board demo let's see so it's here it's open and uh we can put it here so it gets started uh yes cool cool so now we can actually see this and it will get automated uh, as soon as like this is uh, issue is closed and stuff let's try to close this issue see, this is a github action that actually uh, says thank you for raising an issue and uh, redirects to the discord you can actually copy this action if you want as well this is really cool uh, and let's go ahead and close this issue let's see if it gets automated okay so the issue is closed um, let's go ahead in demo and let's see see the it has been moved to done so you don't have to worry about if it is managing it will just keep on uh, like it will just manage itself and whenever someone comes to your project and they see uh, so many things being done and like in your to do and in progress that creates a good impression that you are thinking about managing and stuff uh, in your open source project a uh, really good thing and that is it for this video i really hope you like it if you like it please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want and we will see you in the next video really soon next video will be about uh, commit good practices so we all uh, commit uh, do a git commit but what creative you can do in your small uh, easy git commits to stand out so make sure you uh, are subscribed to the channel to get the notifications and uh, added the playlist uh, and see you in the next one bye